All right, so if you're trying to turn off secure boot or change other security settings um, on an Acer laptop, um, the reason why you can't do it is because it wants you to have a supervisor password. So let's go ahead and set that. You can set it to whatever you want um, for ease because I'm going to remove it later. I just set password, all right? After you set a password, as you can see, all these settings now are available. You can change the password. Um, you can set a user password. You can put a password on boot. You can erase all secure boot settings um, and things like that. But uh, let's see here, change, huh? It doesn't let you, it doesn't let you just turn off secure boot mode. That's weird. Let's see if we, does that mean we've got to reset it or re erase all? Was that, it doesn't let you turn it off? That's weird, storage device configuration. Nope, that's not what we want. Where's the, so it doesn't have regular secure boot disable? Huh. Password on boot, secure boot mode. Uh, restore secure boot to factory default, secure UEFI file. Huh. Let's see if I can set the USB. I don't know how to do this. Uh, but let's see if it will let me boot from the USB now. Oh, actually, here it is. Why wasn't it? Okay. Do you need to... Let's see here. So if that's the case, let me actually restore to default and now there's the secure boot mode it wasn't there before right if I put password in okay so I removed the password and yeah you can't see you can't change the secure boot settings so you do need a password here that's kind of weird okay so create a password, there you go. And now we can enable and disable secure boot. Okay, but it's on this screen. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna actually move that up so I can boot from it. Uh, I don't know if there's a temporary boot option, but I'm gonna press F6, I believe. Yeah, F6 to move it up. So now my USB is my first boot device. So exit saving changes. And now we should be able to boot from my USB. All right, I'm booting from this USB, which allows me to clone the drive the customer wanted to upgrade. So we're upgrading to a four terabyte drive, and then we're gonna migrate all their um, data. We're gonna create a second partition and migrate their external drive data onto a, the SSD itself so they have it internal instead of having to carry around a drive, all right? This software works really well, but uh, it's pretty pricey. Okay, it looks like this laptop is too new, so the mouse cursor doesn't work. Um, so if I wanted, I'd have to use a mouse, but uh, I'm just gonna do it using the tab and shift tab to go backwards. Let's see if I can set this. So we have the Western Digital 512 gig SSD in there, and I need to connect there. Uh, four terabyte, this is a 990 Pro, four terabyte, uh, M.2 PCIe MVME SSD and there's two USB ports so we're going to plug that into there okay let's see get that in all right and let's see if now we can see it in the next partition so I'm just pressing tab a bunch of times space bar and there it is four terabytes okay uh, I don't need to very verify copy data but I'm going to go to advanced options here and I'm going to have it keep the same disk signature so that way hopefully most software will work fine. All right, and then we'll start it. And we shall continue. And now it will clone. And that's pretty much it. Once the clone finishes, I just got to swap the drives out and then I'll re-enable secure boot. All right, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. I know most people won't use this to clone it, but if you're using another kind of software to clone, hopefully the same thing will help you. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.